Let me <laughs> remind people, you had an advantage over everybody in those two years. See, no one knows Detroit Pistons were the first team to have their own... What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. And we got to talk more about Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan. Now, we got more on Zeke when he was speaking to Steven Jackson and uh, Matt Barnes. You know, he spoke about the fact that he actually got hit more than Michael Jordan. Well, I don't know if it's a fact, but th this is his truth. During those grueling series with the Pistons and the Bulls, he was saying that he took more punishment than MJ. He said he's just not the one that's still crying about it in 2023. And um, also we have Gilbert Arenas speaking on Isaiah Thomas. He kind of threw shots at him saying that, you know, the Celtics and the Lakers ran the 80s, which was true. But he's he took it a step further and said that Zeke and them didn't compete because they had this one thing on their side that a lot of people are overlooking. Check this out. Mm -hmm. So they went and got Cartwright. So they traded Oakley to New York, mm -hmm. go get Cartwright. And, you know, Cartwright, he, he throw some bows. He, he, he caught me. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. So I was getting Horace Grant. Horace Grant was hitting me pretty hard coming down the lane. Yeah. So they was laying wood, man. I mean, they was laying hardwood. But, but Jordan, was he was the only one still crying today. During that time, got hit harder and more times than Isaiah Thomas driving down the lane. I got the scars for it, but I ain't never cried. Mm -hmm. I just got up, went Kept to the foul line. They, but, you know, he went to the league office, you know. They wrote newspaper articles about it. He still want to be Mike. Mike do not want to be your friend, Isaiah. I'm telling you for <laughs> the fifth time. He do not want to be your friend. Mm. You know, stay on ESPN. Keep talking on TNT. Oh, Mike should, you know, now you're trying to say everybody better than Mike. It's okay. You not better than Mike. <laughs> so then you had Zeke, you know, he saw that clip from Charles Oakley and he told him he need to sit down somewhere, you know, we beat y'all a whole lot is basically what he said. I'm just paraphrasing. When he reminded Oakley that they had beat them a lot, Gilbert Arenas must have caught wind of that, and this is his response. Uh, you, you didn't compete against Larry Bird and Magic. You didn't, right? They ran the 80s, right? You had a two-year window, which let me <laughs> remind people, you had an advantage over everybody in those two years. See, no one knows Detroit Pistons were the first team to have their own private plane. So the two years that they actually won, so the year they got a private plane, that summer, they won the championship. So what ends up happening is they have way more rest than everybody else because everybody else is on commercial, right? You got these big old guys sitting on commercial fighting for aisle seats. So even like the Lakers and all? No, Lakers, no one. No, Pistons was the first team to have their own plane. They had it for the two years, and then everybody else caught up, and then that's when Michael Jordan came to town. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like there's little things there that helped them, right? And, you know, when you say you kick Michael Jordan's ass and all this, yeah. yeah, that was a young Michael. That was a Michael who was trying to get his feet wet. So Gil, you know, he, he dropped some knowledge right there um, now some people probably knew this that followed the game back in the day but the Detroit Pistons was the first NBA team to have their own private plane and we know the conveniences that come with that you know as far as comfort um, the amount of times it takes for you to get to your destination a lot of the amenities that's readily available to you you know sometimes the commercial flights uh, it could take several hours you know you have some inconveniences in comparison you know relative to the private flight and that's definitely true that could have played a part in helping them win the championship now you can't take all the credit away from the Detroit Pistons but yeah that that definitely plays a factor man when you have all the, the turnaround time for these games and everything and you're able to fly private and get where you need to get and start the process of um well, I ain't gonna say start the process because I'm sure there's some recovery and stuff, but you can get them wheels back on the ground really fast and go uh, get all the treatment and everything you need, uh, get your reps in. And because and, every hour counts, you know, in a series, you know, 
um, as far as travel. And if you can reduce the amount of travel time or amount of time you're um, spending at airports, um, that's going to help you a great deal. Now, obviously, everyone has that now, but if they were the only ones that had that back then, it definitely, definitely was a big deal. They did play extremely well to win those championships. Um, but, I mean, there's a lot of things in history. You know, you could go back and say, oh, this helped this team, this helped that team. Um, and I would beg to differ with um, Gilbert that they didn't compete. I mean, however you want to spin it, you know, they got two titles. You know what I'm saying? They, they got two, so you have to remember them. You know, you, you got to remember those guys. Um, they did something special. Were they, was Zeke, Bird, and Magic? No. But a lot of things in history don't reflect his impact. And by that, I mean, like, he should have made the dream team. Um, like, you hear a lot more people. I mean, you hear people put him like he was right there on Stockton's and them's level and stuff, but no, man, I mean, Magic is the best point guard, and then, I mean, in my opinion, you know, I, I like Zeke. Just, I, I gravitate to the older game more. Um, Steph is amazing, you know, but just how I see point guards, I still have Zeke as my personal number two PG of all time. So, I mean, he was a special, special player. And also, Zeke was talking about, uh, you know, he got hit a lot going to the basket, too. And that's very true. I mean, if you go back and watch those games, Zeke took some punishment from the Bulls, from Bill Cartwright and um, Horace Grant, you know. Um, he, he took a lot of punishment from those guys, too. So, uh, they, they were dishing it out and taking it, you know, but... At the end of the day, you know, the Bulls, they, they they went and worked on themselves, got stronger and better for it. And this is what you could argue, right? The, the way that they started training to get over the hurdle of the Pistons, had they not done that, do they have six championships? See, because losing can build character sometimes, and it makes your preparation go over and beyond. If they were able to get over that hurdle a little easier and get there a little sooner, or, you know, do they have the work ethic they have? Because that's, that's what, you know, failure can do. When you fail to reach a goal or whatever, you could go and and just give up or it could put a drive in you that's like no other. So um, I kind of look at it as they, they help contribute to getting the Michael Jordan that we all love as far as a basketball player, you know. Just, that's just my opinion, man, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Y'all think Gilbert Arenas is right that reducing that travel time and the comfort from a from a private flight helps you or um, or you feel like he just hating. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.